You know, every year at PMA, I, I look for the one amazing technology, the thing that really stands out. And last year at PMA 2007, that product was a, a, a very unique GPS solution by NXP Software. Well, that technology now has been spun out into a separate company, Geotate, and it's also making its way finally now into some digital cameras. And I'm here with Paul Goff of Geotate, who's going to tell us a little bit about it. But, you know, for, uh, Paul, it'd probably be good for the, the listeners for us to understand what really this is about, because it's, it's very different from the GPS we're accustomed to. This is a much different thing than the thing that sits on your dashboard and, you know, takes 10 minutes to wake up and that sort of thing. What's really the kind of the heart of the technology here? Well, I think the main difference is that we've eliminated that cold start, that weight that you have with a conventional device. Mm -hmm. uh, and the way we've done that is by processing the GPS in a very different way. So normally when you come and take your picture, you'll come click the camera and you'll store your JPEG away. At that moment, in the camera, we have a GPS radio. That radio will wake up and just record 200 milliseconds of the raw, unprocessed GPS data. That gets stored in the JPEG of the, the, the camera uh, and that's all that happens. At that point, because we've done no processing of the GPS, there's no position fix. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's all been essentially instant to the user. So they've clicked, it's captured, they go away, click somewhere else, uh, and it just doesn't get in the way of the whole experience of taking a, uh, taking a picture. At the end of the day, though, you come back, then you can load this up onto the computer, and we can show an example of it here. Uh, and we process that GPS data to generate a position fix. Right, so you kind of split up the two processes of actually capturing the GPS data and then process, processing it separately. Uh, and the processing doesn't happen on the camera, that happens back in the computer when you're back home. That's exactly right. So yeah, so no processing here, so that has the benefit. It's instant, but it also means it's very low power. So it takes a, a tiny amount of power because you just turn on the GPS for that 200 milliseconds uh, and then it turns off and it's, uh, then no more power drain until the next picture is taken. Great. And now, uh, last year it was just in concept form in a, a, um, a demonstration board, but now you've actually got it built into a couple of cameras. That's right. So here we have uh, a camera from uh, one of our ODM Taiwanese partners, um, and they've uh, integrated it into this camera. We've got a small sort of 13 millimeter patch antenna here connected to a very tiny GPS radio. Um, and that's all then you need to integrate into the, into the, into the camera. Great. Well, I'm hoping we're going to see this in a lot more cameras. I'm expecting this is going to become a real competitive advantage thing for manufacturers out there, cameras. At least I'm sure you hope so, too. Absolutely. And we're seeing a lot of pull for getting this extra data, the location of, uh, of your photographs sort of easily embedded into your, into your photographs. Mm -hmm. And one thing that really impressed me is just how tiny this is. I, even, you know, last year it was just a few components on a board, but it's gotten even smaller now. And in fact, we have this incredibly small chip down here that we've got next to a dime. And that's, that, that chip is actually the entire radio system, correct? That's correct, yeah. This is our partner's device, it's Raycon, uh, and they've managed to squeeze the whole of the GPS radio, sort of filters, crystals, uh, LNAs, all into a space that's only sort of five by six millimeters. Jeez, five by six millimeters. You better not sneeze, you lose your GPS. Absolutely. And uh, let's take a look at what it does on the computer when you get back home. You've, you've, you've got the images captured, we've got the GPS information now, the raw data in the EXIF headers of the JPEG files. And so now we put them on the computer, how do we go about seeing where we were? Okay, first you unload your pictures onto your computer and then we start up our application that will do the uh, computing of the position fix. Here it is starting up, uh, we see uh, the world map as it comes up, and it's also in the background talking to our server, which has the archive of all the GPS data in the past, so that when we unload the photographs, we, we look at the, the, the time in the header, and then we retrieve from our server the GPS data for that particular time, which is what enables us then to complete the calculation. It basically tells you where all the GPS satellites were at that moment in time, where they were in space. That's right. It's a set of data that gives you the position around two hours of the, 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 uh, those satellites very accurately, which is then what allows us to subsequently compute our own position. Okay, so once we've got uh, this up, we say add photographs. 
uh, we just go to a directory where we've unloaded those photographs. So here I've got a set of some photographs I took around Vegas. And then the photographs start to come in. And you see the first one is actually flashing at the moment. This means that it's starting to compute the position fix and doing all the calculations. Initially, of course, it doesn't know where this is anywhere in the world. So the first one usually takes a little bit of time. Uh, but here we go. Once it's got one, then very quickly we can see other ones sort of uh, joining in. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. So here we see other pictures coming in. And then we've actually suddenly seen it switch over to uh, Caesar's Palace where we wandered by. Um, and then this morning, of course, we all came to the convention center. So here's three pictures I took just as I was outside the, the convention center. Um, so you can view your pictures on uh, this nice map. Uh, other things you can do uh, is uh, look at what we call the bird's eye view. So you can zoom in at an angle to where you are looking, which uh, sort of gives you another perspective on where you took your photographs. Uh, so for example, uh, here we have the uh, waterfall at the Mirage, and that's where it is uh, sort of matched up, matched up here. Uh, in addition to that, you get the, the street name. So you can record that along with your photographs. So here we are on Las Vegas Boulevard South. Um, and finally, uh, our application developer uh, added a nice twist, and that was for each image you can click and get some extra information. So here it is, here's the picture, and here is a list from Wikipedia of points of interest that are quite close to, the, um, to that image. So they recognize the Mirage, the Venetian, and you can get a short sort of uh, introduction as to uh, that point of interest. Well, so there you have it, geotate, automated geotagging coming to a camera near you very soon.